Okay, so it is uh, 7.30-ish in the morning. I don't remember the last thing that I picked up on, but I, I ate that amazing uh, miso katsu, whatever. The fucking fire-ass pork cutlet with the miso sauce on it. I actually went and bought a new wallet at Masterpiece. My backpack is Masterpiece. I love, ever since my first trip, I've loved Masterpiece. So I went and got a new wallet. It's all wallet, it's fucked up. More walking, more walking, and then got back to the room to just like kind of chill. I was like, oh, I'll just chill here for a little bit and then go back out. I was gonna go to this little like castle area, but um, it ended up just raining and raining and raining. And then once I got still, I was like, yo, my feet are cooking, son. So we did 26,000 steps yesterday and it was raining. And I realized like, yo, boy, you better pace yourself because... You ain't gonna be able to keep this shit up every day if you don't. I actually ordered room service because I just didn't even have the energy to go downstairs. And they brought me, I didn't take a video of this because I was so cooked, but they brought me the biggest fucking cheeseburger I've ever seen. Like, enormous. It was okay. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but I mean, it was it was good. It wasn't bad. It's called the Marriott Burger, and I swear, it's not like the Marriott Burger in the States, but it's like a double, I mean, it's crazy. Um... They make their own like version of animal sauce called like moo moo sauce. Regardless, we're checking out of this hotel. This hotel's been great. Nagoya has been cool. Um, I, I this, yeah, I mean this hotel was a little further from some things than I probably wished it had been, but it wasn't bad. Headed to the station so that we can get on the Shinkansen, and then we can go to Onomichi. We're out of Nagoya. Nagoya, you were my first stop. You're supposed to be just a quick rest place. I didn't rest, but it was nice. Great food, miso katsu. Everything I got here was uh, was was really good. So, including this this hotel was great. So, um, yeah. All right, that's it. That's it for Nagoya. We're headed we're headed south, where it's gonna get more and more humid. We have officially made it to Onomichi. We can't check into our hotel for like three hours, so put our stuff in the locker. Now we are headed, we have no idea where. We're just walking around, doing our thing, checking it out, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be, should be good. There's a lot less English being spoken in this part of Japan, for certain. Which is fine because there are people talking English. I get annoyed as soon as I hear English, honestly. Uh, it's gonna make it harder to do stuff, but no annoying Englishmen talking about stocks on the train, so that'll be nice. I've been in Onomichi for, I don't know, about an hour. And uh, I'm not climbing all the way to the temple right now. 
temples. I know this place is temple heavy, but this place is amazing. <laughs> I mean, this is a spot for sure. I mean, everything is cool so far. Got the water, got a little shopping area. It's dope. This whole thing's dope. I have no idea where I am. Uh, There's like houses up here. It starts to feel like I'm just like in somebody's house. I don't know if that's where I'm supposed to be. It's kind of confusing. It's definitely amazing. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. This place is crazy. And this, I don't want to climb all the way to the temples yet. Like I know that like the full climb is like insane. I don't even know if that's what I'm doing right now. I kind of headed back down. <laughs> see where it leads me i don't really remember which way i even came but like like look here we got like i can go this way or i could go this way or i could go this way both to the left and the right i've been so should i just go this way this doesn't even look inviting let's just go back the way we came i feel like that's normally what people do so we'll see there's other people so that's good Look at that. Look at that. Insane. Incredible. I have no idea how far this goes. I just met an Italian couple and they had a map and I was like, oh, you're smart. You got a map. And then they gave it to me. So I guess they had two. Nice. Now I got a map. I don't know where I'm at. So couldn't tell you anything about the map but at least i know now there's a fuckload of places dude you can see there's a fuckload of places to see but you can see way up there there's like flags which means there's another temple right there so you're gonna go for a while here every time i think i'm gonna stop and go back down something compels me to keep going up i feel like we're gonna do this whole thing tomorrow you can take a railway up and walk back down which Seems like a smarter move. Yeah, it's getting crazy. All right, one more flight. Let's look. Let's see what they got up here. And then we go back down. Get some food. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. Oh. I know about this place. This is a hotel. That I know. Okay. I think we'll go back now.
up super early this morning. I woke up like 3.30. We're gonna try to knock out this temple tour, walk extravaganza before it gets uh, too hot. So it's like 70 degrees right now. It's not supposed to rain today. This is our last day in Onomichi. We're only here for two days. And then two we're gonna knock this out. We're gonna eat normal stuff, but really just trying to get through as much of this as possible. Maybe take the ropeway. I don't know. I think the ropeway goes like a different direction. You don't get the actual temple tour. So a lot to figure out, a lot to cover. Feet are killing me. Legs are in pain, but it's okay. This is what we're here for, and you just gotta suck it up. So hit the streets, let's get a snack, and let's get to walk. is where I was yesterday when I got the map. Here's the cat making class. Yeah, we keep going and find our way to the new area. I've been this way though, that I know, but we quit. Now I don't have to quit because we got a map. figured it out. This is the Sinkoji Temple, which I'm pretty sure you can take the ropeway up to. Dude, uh, we walked. That was, that was pretty, pretty incredible. I mean, challenging for sure. This is really amazing. I mean, just kind of mind blowing, honestly. And it's, we're not even, if I show you on the map, it's like not even close to all of it so uh but yeah this right here is you pay 100 yen and you can climb old way up to the top now i don't know i don't know if we can do this or not i had to put my cameras in the bag but we made it with the first one the second one looks a little harder to be honest okay we made it up we're up the second one. Now I got <laughs> these. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just felt like if I didn't do it, I'd be bummed. So here we are climbing up some old chain rings. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, yes, sir. We just climbed up the chain rope. Ah, uh, wow. Ah, uh, you know? I'm glad I did it. 
That was not, I mean, not sketchy, but like, honestly, the rings are kind of small. I got big ass feet, and I don't think most people here in this ancient time had size 13 shoes. So, uh, yeah, we climbed up this bad boy. That was interesting. There's like uh, three layers there, three or four. I can't remember. And now we have to shimmy down this thing to keep the journey alive. What is this? What the fuck kind of shimmy is this? this the arrow says go this way. This is a ninja move. This is an insurance nightmare. All right, let me concentrate and get down this. Not sure if there's an easier way, but we're gonna step off of this onto that. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I'm filming at the same time. <laughs> I guess you go through this fucking thing. Oh, we got my ankle on you fit. Uh, okay. And then through here, it's a lot easier. All right. We did it. I gotta be honest. I did not know if that was gonna go down. Well, if I was gonna go down. All right, let's keep going. It's very possible that I'm lost <clears throat> and off the path. But there's no one to ask, so just keep on going. It's like I'm in a movie right here. This fence wasn't here, movie. It's pretty crazy. No wild animals yet, so that's, that's good. We're gonna lose that battle. Booby traps possibly coming up. shoes up there all the shoes you can buy shoes at the temple there and assume you write a prayer on them and put them there just how temples kind of work i was listening to the facts about this shrine that like 
burned down multiple times. I mean, it started, this thing was built in like year 700 or something, but they said the, the shoes, once it was rebuilt, like in the 1300s, were an offering someone. And it was, uh, you know, like a gift to hope for strong legs, which is hilarious and also just fitting because my legs are cooking right now. So. Cooking. to uh, East Onomichi. I wanted to get sushi and the only conveyor belt sushi was out here. But it was like really high quality conveyor belt sushi. And my thinking was, bro, oh, this will be easy. There won't be any problem to just grab food off the belt and eat. Except this conveyor belt sushi place, you do not grab the food off the belt. I mean, you can, but they don't really put anything on there. And you have to order everything. Reading their reviews, as everyone talks about how slow it is, and it was slow. We were there for like an hour. It's really good. Uh, it's pretty expensive for, you know, a lot of people go to conveyor belt. They're like, oh, it's gonna be cheap. This was not pretty pricey, but also pretty good. So I, uh, you know, didn't really expect all this, but here we are. Now we're walking back to the station. So we can go back, probably to the room and rest. We've climbed 60 floors today. We're already at 20,000 steps. Every day is 20,000 plus. And uh, I'm sure I'll be hungry in like 